Hello my Pisces and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie and of course yes I am Debbie. So I'm reading for February 11th through the 17th. We are coming closer to your season so almost time to say happy birthday to you. All right now I've done an overview. Oh my goodness what did I call it? Something about uh, no matter what happens stay chilled. Things are interesting, of course, always are interesting, aren't they? Things are happening in the, in, the, um, in the sky, so take a peek at it if you would. Also remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay, so my Pisces, we're coming closer to your season. We're getting, you know, you're, you've got to wrap things up, but there's also an ending of a situation coming for you or coming to you. There's an ending of a situation. You have done absolutely marvelous in how you have helped dealt with it. You are, you know, and so what's going to happen is you're going to get to that point and you're going to transition up, okay? There is a lot of up transitioning energy I'm feeling for you, and I don't even know what that is talking about, but Again, my job is just to deliver, and, you know, I don't have to always understand, but I feel like you're transitioning and you're delivering up, okay? So that could be about ascension. Maybe you are going into that third to fourth or fourth to fifth dimension, um, but you have to stay very focused. You have to be very much, I've been getting a lot of the king of swords, king of air energy. You have to stay, you have to stay focused on your steps, okay? Keep your focus on your steps, that keeps coming to me. Okay, so let's see. What else is there? What about for this week? What about for this week, Holy Spirit? What is there February 11th to the 17th for my Pisces? Stay very focused on your steps. Um, just know each, yeah, each step. Again, transitional energy, very world energy, very much like, yes, you, you've come circled and you have really done very well. And get ready because once you hit that uh, hit that plateau, you'll stay there for a little bit of time and then you will be moving forward again. So let's see if I can get this in focus. There we go. Let's see what we have for our Pisces. These two are reversed. That has a little bit more of an oomph to the meaning. Here we go. First card is four of Michael. So four is stability, organization, and leadership. Michael is air energy, it is sword energy, it is our Aquarius, our Gemini, and our Libra. A lot of things going on in Aquarius right now, and it's like this is the time, yes, you do need to have things wrapped up, you, you know, because you're getting ready to start your own um, year, if you want to say that, but yet at the same time, Pisces ends the astrological year, so you've, you've got kind of a couple of things going on with your, as we come closer to your season. So, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, uh, thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. Things are happening around you, but the making the plans is something that I really want you to focus on, okay? So the Four of Michael will tell you about, you know, meditating, connecting with God, Source, really just having that true connection and opening yourself up to that connection and letting that connection come by. Um, come through. If you are somebody that does meditate, I would recommend that you keep something by your side so you can write down, you know, or if you're a dreamer, keep something by your bedside where you can write this down, okay? Messages are coming for you. Insights are coming for you, are coming to you and coming through you. You are, like I said, there is like you are completing a cycle and you're ready to start and this is going to help you transition forward. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. I love that. There she is in a beautiful little area with all the, with the water flowing. And even though this is air energy, there is water around her and she's taking a nap. She's resting. She's enjoying the ambiance. Okay, next card is reversed. King of Ariel. So King's underlying energy is air. Aerial energy is earth. So we have air and earth now, and you are water. So Ariel is our Capricorn, our Taurus, and our Virgo. Remember Capricorn has, what is it? Uh, Mars has transitioned into Aquarius. Venus is just about to transition, holding on a little bit longer. 
transition into Aquarius, and then we have a lot of things going on with Taurus still. You know, a lot of strong energy with Jupiter and with Uranus. Um, and also Virgo, there's Virgo energy here too. Money, job, career. So whatever this is, whatever this is transitioning, you are where very, you know, you have made a success of yourself. You have made a success of your project. You have come out shining with this. The King of Ariel is a subject matter expert. The King of Ariel knows his business, knows what he needs to be. Now, you may doubt yourself with this, my Pisces, but you know a whole lot. Many people look at you and they're in awe of what you do know. They're in awe of your um, you know, your your experience in many things, okay? So you have to start standing up and taking that for account, you know, taking that and accounting for that. You know, my husband is a Pisces and he basically will say, well, everybody else should know how to do this. No, no, my Pisces, not everybody knows what you know. And you know it not just in the physical sense, but in that metaphysical sense. You are manifestors. So manifest, manifest into reality, something beautiful, especially in this, in this, um, you know, time period. Now, remember, wasn't it the new moon? The new moon was the ninth or the 10th. So this is a time, this is a time to start. This is a time to start your manifesting. Okay, successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely so dream make wishes say it out loud put it out there my pisces next card is ten of michael now libra just ended their cards with that too so ten is transition one new beginning zero god source energy so we have a one a four one zero or we have a one four okay so transitioning moving forward michael again aquarius gemini libra thought processes thinking things through and this goes back to what i'm saying you're coming to an end of a cycle and get ready because there is something more to more is growing more is happening there is a there is something very big awaiting you now grab it you you know be very proud of what you're be very proud of yourself be very proud of what you accomplish but you have to also be very confident in the fact that you did this okay so you know i love this little lady she's the you know she's danced her toes off she has prepared and she has accomplished what she has set out and now's the time maybe there's going to be somebody that's going to take her to a bigger audience maybe there's something somebody that's you know maybe that's been enough for her but i don't think so i think she's gone through some you know she's gone through the hard knocks and she's and she's now being accolades you know she's now getting accolades she's being applauded okay a situation has ended and you are finally free remember that's what i was saying the world energy new opportunities for happiness will now follow put the past behind you let that go I know, that's not always easy, I know, but put the past behind you, my Pisces. It's gone, uh, embrace your future. There's something lovely here. Something, something very, very lovely. Anyway, let's see, higher power, Holy Spirit, what else do you have for our Pisces? What do you have for our Pisces here? What do you have? Oh, there's a card that flipped, there we go. Eight of action. Eight is unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Action is our fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passionate and consuming. There is so much. This is very, very busy energy going on here. Okay? Things are happening, but it's positive. It's, you know, you want this happening. Embrace these changes. Embrace the opportunities. There's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet, it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with confidence. So that's interesting, too, because flights, traveling and flights means some changes are happening. You know, you might be called, you might be called to step up to something. Step up to the podium, my Pisces. Okay, let's see what we have here. Um, inspirational wisdom from angels and fairies. What else do we have for our Pisces here? So we have a 4, 10, and an 8. 8, 10, 4. Let's see what we've got here. 4, 1, 8, 
814 sometimes okay what do we have for our Pisces what do you want to say little fairies and angels to our Pisces rainbow spirit look at her how pretty when you feel anxious you can ask for help from the energy source that is around you all right now we're going to do a little we, we have some reiki cards here and we'll do that reiki energy source that's very that's interesting with that too okay what crystal or energy would be good for my pisces yeah so there's there's a there's an end there's an end of a cycle so when when one cycle ends something new begins um, it looks like it's something that's really very positive and it looks like you're more than ready for it my Pisces you can stand up for it it may seem very busy you may feel very um, challenged by it but um, you know hey when you're feeling anxious call upon the energies I say God source whoever that is to you and ask for some help okay Crystal or energy for my Pisces. Titanium rainbow quartz. This is a mixture between man-made and um, nature-made. Okay. Awakening all chakras. Ultimate manifestation. Vibrancy. Powerful shift. Again, I'm feeling that power. It's a power, you know, when that world card, something ends, something begins, it is, it's a strong shift. Okay. Things are shifting for you, my Pisces. And it's not in a, oh my goodness, what's going to happen now? No, it's a, you know, stand up, stand strong. Be that king of Ariel. Be that subject matter expert. You're stronger than you know, okay? Call upon God. Call about source. Ask for help, but stand strong. Okay, let's see what else we might have. Um, like I said, I, well, I, I, I left my angel answers somewhere, so let's do my living reiki because you know i'm a reiki three let's see what we have here for our pisces oh okay here we go my pisces reversed try smiling when you give a smile you get one and you get one back smiling oh it just it raises everyone's vibrations Whenever you have, oh, a lot, yes, there's, there's so much of possibilities here, and yet we talk with fear again. Whenever you have a fearful thought, try smiling, because psycho psych psychology can follow physiology. Or in other words, change your body and you can change your mind. Try it. It's really hard to worry or be afraid with a smile on your face. What? I love that. So whenever you have a fearful thought, and remember, yes, I, I say this a lot, fear is one of the tools of the devil to keep you from your blessings. So whenever you're having a fearful thought, try smiling. I love that. I love that for you, my Pisces, because there's a, there's a shift. Not always easy, but there is a shift. Okay, there's a shift. Not always easy, but it's a good shift. But there's can be people can be afraid to make those changes. We can always, you know, what you know, shifting is is things that change can be very scary. But go for it anyway. My Pisces, do me my favor: like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. It re really helped me. And last week was amazing. So thank you all. As all, oh, I'm on Rumble too. So Rumble me. As always, though, my Pisces, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.